we are mixing together a few of my favorite things. Fire, implosions, and alcohol? Yeah, but just don't drink it. This stuff will actually kill you. I love episodes like these because we get to mix together a bunch of the experiments that we've learned in the past, mix them all together, and we get something even more amazing. I'm Jonathan Allers, and this is Destructive Creativity, and this episode we are mixing together the Whoosh Jug, which we covered a couple of weeks ago, the Steam Vacuum, which was over a year ago, and the Rising Water Candle Experiments. Now we're going to mix all these together. First off, let's go over quickly what the Whoosh Jug is. Alright, so the Whoosh Jug, let's pour in a little bit of alcohol, make sure that the vapor gets all inside of the bottle. And how you do that is up to you. Also, don't play with fire, because playing with fire is usually a bad idea. Light it off. We get a beautiful noise and flame coming up because the alcohol vapor is being burned up and heating the air inside of this large beaker. I also did an episode on the steam vacuum, where if you take a glass bottle, put a little bit of water in it, and put it in the microwave, you can actually create an almost explosive implosions. The steam inside the bottle will cool so quickly, it creates a very strong suction, and it sucks all the water into the bottle. It's a very cool experiment, and I'll probably revisit that at some point in the future. The third experiment we're going to mash up all together is the rising water candle experiment. If you remember that experiment, that's where if you have a lit candle and you put a a glass jar or a beaker over top of the candle, the candle will actually use up the oxygen and it will rise the water in the beaker. So let's mix all these together and I'll show you the effect. I'm going to prep the whoosh jug. And then we're going to light it on fire while covering up the flame into the water and we're going to create an explosive, an implosive steam vacuum thing. Let's go! Hi. Woo! Wow! <laughs> That's awesome! And slightly terrifying, because there's a lot of pressure there and a lot of vacuum. In fact, I should maybe fill this with even more water. Let's do a close-up and watch that again. <laughs> it's created its own little plug. If I pull this plug out... Oh, come on! Ah, there we go! <laughs> that was the clay stopper that I had the candle in. Wow! So once again, I'll just explain the science behind this. We're going to be filling the inside of this bottle with alcohol vapor, which is flammable. And as soon as I put it over top of the flame, it's going to combust. And that combustion causes uh, a rapid expansion of the gases inside the bottle. And that's what those first bubbles are that you see coming up and out of around the bottle. After that, suddenly, the air is going to be cooled down dramatically by the water. And that is going to be what causes the instant vacuum that's created inside the bottle and the uprushing of water from around it. Now the water coming into the bottle is actually caused by the air pressure around us, which is very cool. All right, let's try this one more time. Come on out. There we go. Very cool. Well, this is Destructive Creativity, and I'm Jonathan Allers, and we are so happy for you to join us. Please consider subscribing or giving us a like, sharing us on social media always helps. We have new science experiments coming out every single Wednesday morning, so see you next time! Woo! <laughs> it's scary. Bye! <laughs>